Hello my dear friends and viewers, how are you all doing? Welcome to another episode of Warcraft RQ. Once again, for those who might not be knowing, this is uh, also known as Warcraft Request. It is basically requesting me on casting one type of game which might be Undead vs Human, might be with a specific hero on a specific map, or you might even give me the replay if you have a really good one. Or just let me know which what kind of a matchup you want to watch. I'll just try to search for it and we'll see what we can find. So anyway, this guy, this game, this replay has been given to me by Run Ace, also known as Flower on Euro Battle on Net. And this is going to be a human versus human that is featuring DKH Rain as the dark green human player spawning at the 4 o'clock position. And on the upper side we got Charger as the blue human player spawning at the top left already, already said top so anyways we have human versus human can't really say anything very much interesting that we can expect out of this kind of a matchup but since Ace says that this will be interesting I guess I'll just have to agree to it and let's see how this ga game goes and the referees are really annoying that's one thing I can say right now anyways uh, Charter going for a different kind of a strategy, dropping away his farm uh, near the human base, that's one thing that the human players, that's one thing that you do not see in human vs human uh, games, while DKH going for a tower, that's one common thing, tower, human, that always comes into play, humans can never ever live without towers, I'm serious. So anyways, this is going to be on Ancient Isles, we have seen a good number of matches on this uh, map but uh, very rarely I do believe we have seen human versus human very rarely specifically on this map I believe anyways we're gonna see how it plays and he can <laughs> killing off a sheep over there getting away those militiamen and going for the orange camp a mirror at the other side almost the same thing going on the other and using that really little glitchy entrance there so anyways Human was human, nothing so very special. We can, I can, that I can think about it right now. One thing I will say is that the one unit, the one specific unit that you will be making throughout the game, or rather, you should be making throughout the game, is footmen. Yes, that is one unit that you should be making throughout the game because once you get to tier two, uh, you you'll get your spellcasters and you'll get those spellbreakers. But the thing is, the spellbreakers are good, but they do not stand much of a chance against the footmen because of because the footmen uh, can produce much faster they cost they are much more they cost much less that is and they attack and uh, in they have the normal attack which does more damage to the normal armor or rather the medium armor so the uh, medium armored spellbreakers really don't stand much of a chance against the footmen. Here come the footmen. Footmen going for the elemental? No, going through, right through the whole army and going towards some other place. And while the other human player going towards the green human face, he's gonna attack right on, attack uh, right on. But the tower is gonna cause him some problems. Has to be careful not to get that archmage near the tower because that ar that tower is just gonna drain up, up so much mana from there. Uh, from the Ar Archmage specifically and the Mulchman spawning away at the town center he, uh, the green human player doing a pretty pretty good job on defending himself very very much uh, quick and prompt in this uh, but uh, he is losing a few uh, Mulchman he did l uh, lose one uh, almost lost the other one while the human player retreated back and oh my that is not good that is, can never be good one one footman down others who might, uh, might even go down soon enough yeah, he did kind of waste off his TP. I don't really know where the hell was he. He was first was here, second was I don't know where, but he did TP back to the base from from wh wherever he was. And right now he is in a really 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 tight position. Uh, human units going down one by one. Uh, human green human units. I'm a little familiar with saying uh, describing the player with the race, but right now I think I'll have to see the color as well because both of the players are indeed human. And the green human player finally being able to uh, get the blue blue human out of his base. The blue human retreating back, not going for any kind of attack. He did get a ring of protection. Not so useful item. We'll sell it off. 
will have to sell it off if he doesn't want to waste up a slot if you ask me because that's, that's just not that much of a worthful item power building away a farm I believe he's blocked no he's not blocked yet he will be blocked in a second but no he's not blocked uh, anyway going for this camp and well I was about to say that he has no chance but he went directly for the merc camp and bought those two trolls and yes now the, he does have a chance and he will take this camp out no problem uh, this is and uh, this is one of the camps where you have the drake uh, the Drake is very very much popular on secret valleys but over there you don't have a merc camp or here you do have a merc camp and you do uh, have those trolls that you can spawn away so you don't really need any kind of specific uh, specific ranged units and oh my we got a dark ranger in the game a dark ranger is indeed going to work out very very well against a, uh, with, against a human player as long as he spawns more and more of these footmen because the footmen are come into that category which I call low hit point mass units and the more you can kill them the more you gain the skeletons and the more you gain skeletons the more easier it, it is for you to win and the other human player getting a Naga Sea Witch Naga Sea Witch obviously another good choice uh, especially with that fork lighting and cold arrow gonna be coming out very very much handy as long as the other human player also spawns away the footman so both of the players have secured a good account over the footman and oh my that dark ranger being targeted away oh it's gonna die oh my it's gonna die it's gonna die cold arrow coming and oh that last firebolt or whatsoever you might want to call it attack of the arc mage killed it and that dark ranger died right uh, a little few a little few seconds after it spawned uh, the green human player once again in the very very much uh, not so good position precarious whatsoever you may want to call it getting his arcane vault at the back side of the base getting a blacksmith uh, he obviously he does have a blacksmith as well because he is spawning riflemen riflemen are gonna come in handy in this game but not if the footmen get defend if the footmen enemy footmen get defend it's not gonna be that useful oh my the arc mages are very low hit points i don't see it surviving i just don't see it surviving if the arcane vault might come up there might be a chance that oh my doing a really really good job there by uh, skeleting or skeltering away his units and the Dark Ranger is back in the Dark Ranger has been uh, resummoned or rather revived and the, the Dark Green human player is the one who is uh, doing a good job in defending his base right now but the thing is as long as the human as long as the whole battle is going on at the Dark Human's base the Dark Green human's base it is bad for the dark green human because he's the one who's gonna be losing more and more of the militia men which is which are in turn the peasants so he's gonna he's gonna be the one who's gonna be losing the mining time and all that whatsoever you might wanna call it right now he's doing a good job on targeting the heroes getting that um, did manage to get him a little back for a second but no he's coming back he's coming right back at the attack going after the farm and he is surprisingly enough I don't really see any footmen right now I guess he's gonna go directly only and only for those casters yes he that's what he is doing he's going uh, for those orcish build orders uh, the rather the orcish build orders which human players build uh, use while uh, playing against orcs uh, I don't really see this build order that effective because he does need something to front the army with the thing is it is much easier for the dark green human player because the dark green human player can easily kill away those spell casters and turn them into those skeleton warriors and with those riflemen oh, oh my it's gonna be a it's gonna be a really 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 easy job for him to kill away those uh, spell casters the only thing that <laughs> the human player is very much relying on is, is the elementals other than the heroes and the dark human player dark green human player coming out of the base uh, in a very very strong position right now being able to get him back but no he is not going to give up I don't think he is and well he's going for some creeping I believe I don't really see him doing anything else yes he is he's going to creep a little and then get back right on the attack because uh, the Naga Sea which is at uh, level 2.7 and he and she, once she get, hits uh, level 3 I think he's going to get 4th lightning 4th lightning is obviously going to be very very much helpful for him oh my uh, 
Sorcerer is coming into play. Sorcerer is going to be helping the Rifleman kite away those units really, really uh, effectively, very much. And also going to be helping them turn them into those Skeleton Warriors. And oh, we got... No, we only got one. The did use a Dark Arrow over there. And he, she's using a Dark Arrow over the Sorcerers. And there comes the... There comes that thing, that skeleton minion, and here comes the spellbreaker. Once again, as I said at the start of the game, the spellbreakers are not going to be that much handy in the in a human versus human game, only because of the footmen. But the thing is, both of the hero, both of the uh, players have made a counter for the footmen, and both of the players, I believe, are just refusing to produce any more footmen right now, uh, taking out units one by one. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't see the dark human player coming uh, ahead in this battle. He might want to go back, which he is trying to do. And oh my, Dark Ranger might just uh, witness her second death in this game. But no, he um, getting back the hero towards the base right on time. Uh, human player not gonna back out right now. He's heading right towards the human other human base, spawning more and more of those spellcasters along with the breakers as well. Breakers are coming into handy very much and well right now those my whole theory with the footman is not coming out wrong because both players have made the counter for the footman and right now the other human player that is the blue human player seems to be the one who is going to be getting the, the this game one way or another uh, dark green human player seeing no option swanning away all of the militia that he had all he had to spare that is not the ones at the goal I don't think he did Oh yeah, obviously he didn't. Going for the attack, uh, doing a good job of getting those priests over there. He did get one skeleton minion at least. Uh, the attacking the elemental is not going to be useful because that elemental does not have a corpse. It is not going to be turned into a skeleton minion. And I don't know. I don't know if it's it's going to be useful in attacking that um, attacking those spell bakers because I don't think they are affected by the uh, the dark arrow either. And <laughs> now the human player doing a great great job over here and I wouldn't be surprised if he researched ma the uh, researched that last control magic ability of the spellbreakers because that is one thing that is gonna be coming in very 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 much handy in this kind of a matchup because if you can like take up those elementals you pretty much got everything you need and the only thing you need to do is like weaken it up weaken it up and then take it if you because if you go for it to get, take it from the start it won't come to you because Oh well, the Dark Ranger just died. And just look at the number of the elementals over there. Taking out those units one by one. Just doing some massive amount of damage and now going after the... Oh my! Priest! 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 Micro! Priest! Micro! And there it goes down! That's GG. Nice, nice, nice game there by both players. Once again, a thank you to Ace slash flower for giving me this replay I would always appreciate to cast any game that you give me so anyways once again I'd like to tell you everybody every one of you that has watched this game you can also submit me a replay I if I like it I can I will cast it sometime or the other otherwise if you have any kind of a matchup in mind which you haven't seen since a while or you rather want to see you can uh, just comment below and tell me which kind of a matchup uh, might be undead versus orc on a on a, on a map which hasn't been played since a while and anything 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 like you guys like want to see in this game that is so anyways that is it that is it that is all uh, see out bye bye